Hey, it's John Siskovich, and I had the opportunity to shoot some infrared video of my chickens recently, which was super cool and very insightful. And you'll see in the video where the chickens are losing heat and how they generate heat, and I'll talk about that in a second, and what that tells us about how to manage them in the winter. So check it out. So to stay warm in the winter, chickens eat and they need fresh water. And what they do, if you think of a down comforter, they're ch the chickens are covered in down and they're generating heat by metabolizing that food and trapping it in the down. And it's the exposed areas of their body that are releasing that heat. So what, such a show off. So as we go to the infrared video, you can see that the head and the feet are the biggest, the brightest areas that are really hot, the head especially, because there's brain activity going on and there's not a lot of feathers to capture that heat. You get a little bit of heat from their body because that's a larger mass, but what you do when you're managing chickens in the winter is you want to have good air circulation, but no drafts. You have the air circulation so there's no buildup of dust, dander, if there's any ammonia from the manure. You want to get that out of the coop so they don't develop respiratory problems, but you don't want it drafty. And that draftiness will blow through the chicken's feathers and release that hot air that they're capturing. It was cool on the infrared to see that the outside of their feathers didn't get that much warmer than the outside ambient temperature, but uh, you could see from their heads and their feet the more exposed areas that those were warmer because they weren't capturing as much heat. They were actually losing a little bit of heat. So you want to keep the drafts down to keep the heat in under their down and their feathers and that's how they stay warm. You also want to keep the moisture down because that moisture can collect in those areas and they can get frostbite, which is terrible. Uh, it's just, you know, another thing for proper management, humane treatment of your animals. Always put your animals' health and well-being first and your products and sales and everything will follow. They'll lay better eggs, the shells will be nicer. If you have a good habitat, good nesting boxes, plenty of roof space and activities for them to be a little more entertained. It doesn't cost a lot of money. A lot of this we put together from scrap, but the better you manage the animals, the better your product, the better your business is gonna be. So I hope that was some good insight. It's really cool. Uh, I, as I edit this, I'll roll through some of that infrared footage. It was really fun to do. Uh, and really insightful as we're raising chickens just to do it in a really smart way. If you have anything to add in this regard, uh, leave it in the comments section below. I always encourage you to keep the conversation going. I do my best to keep up with some of the comments, but there is some good resources and stuff that people share on all these videos. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch, and until next time, I'll see you out in the field.